Hey guys, um, so this is me at my prettiest. I'm getting ready to color my hair. Um, I was just going to show you guys how to do an all over color. Um, Amy Dreamlight Dream 6000 was going to color her own hair and I told her I'd do a video for it. So here it is. Um, okay, so I when I do my own hair, I do it a little differently than when I do somebody else's hair. But this is how you do your own. Um, I don't normally put clips in mine because there's really not a whole lot of a science to it. It's really pretty easy. Um, and I guess I should say, first of all, that I am a licensed hairstylist <laughs> and I've been doing hair for almost 12 years. So um, anyways, so this is how I color my own hair. Um, I section it off. This is called a T part. You go right down the middle. Oh, and totally ignore my white trash look. I am um, getting ready for bed. <laughs> um, anyways, it goes all the way down here in the back. And then it parts here on the side, and it parts here on the side. So that's a T part. Kind of makes a T on the top of your head. Um, you always start start in the uh, hairline here in the front, especially if it's gray. Um, so you take one section at a time. I normally just section mine off with the hair color. I don't clip it off. I do still section, but I just use the color to keep the parts separate, if that makes sense. Um, I am using Colustum. Perfect by Willa. Um, my color that I use is six seven five or sorry four seven five is what I normally use, um, but I didn't have quite enough, so I mixed it with five seven five, which will just make it a half shade lighter, and that's okay. Um, I have to redo the whole thing every time, anyways, because my hair fades so bad because it's so damaged. <laughs> so, um, anyways, you mix it equal parts with twenty volume cream developer, um, and then you just mix it up and make sure it's well mixed. Um, don't be worried if it's a funky color. All color is a funky color. Um, but you start right here in the hairline. You go all the way down around. If you're going darker, you don't have to start in the middle. Um, you can start right at the base, that's fine. Um, if you're going lighter, you have to start in the middle of your hair, which is called the mid-strand, um, which is from here to here. Um, and then you go back and do the base and the ends. And the reason for that is that your ends are a lot more porous or dry. Um, and the base of your hair uh, produces heat. So they will produce, or they will process faster than the rest. Um, so what I do when I am retouching my hair, because I have to pull it through, um, I go through first and I retouch everything. So I just go down the part, around the hairline, and then I take approximately eight inch sections. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to just do what's retouched. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't go too far down it, but um, I just slap it on. It's really pretty easy. And it looks really messy when I do my own because it's obviously harder to do your own, but, and I'm doing it in a camera, which is hard. But you just go all the way down like this. And if they're a little bit bigger then whatever, it's really not that big of a deal. Try to keep them small, just so that the color goes all the way through. Just like so, all the way down to the bottom. And then when you get done here, at the bottom, like that, and I just plop it down. And I move on to the next section. I do the same thing with this section, this section, this section. I always do the outline of it to keep it separate from the other. And then I do eighth inch partings all the way down. So when I get that all done, then I'll, let, I'll uh, come back on here so you don't have to watch me do all that. It's boring. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, now I have gone around and I've done each section. I've parted them all. And no, it's not perfect. It doesn't need to be. So it's okay. Um, so now you're going to get a second chance really to hit the um, regrowth here at the, the base. Um, because I'll go through again, same thing, about 8 inch sections-ish. And I start at the base again. And I work my way all the way to the ends. So this way the um, base of my hair has been sitting on there longer than the rest because that's going to be the, the most stubborn and the, I mean, it's got to have the most color accepted into it because the rest of it's just kind of retouching it, just refreshing it. So I'm going to go through eighth inch sections, move it all the way down to the end, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I have it all the way down to the ends. So I take this super duper wide tooth comb but any comb works. The reason why I do such a wide comb is because it kind of pulls, because it's kind of sticky. Um, but yeah, any comb will work. 
If you have a hard time getting your comb through, you can spray it with a little bit of water. It's not going to hurt. Don't spray it with a lot, but it's not going to hurt to spray it with a little water. Um, this helps just move it through all the way to the ends. Make sure that you get all of the strands coated. I'm doing this super messy. I usually would wear a cape, but I'm being lazy. <laughs> I've got it like all over my shoulder. And I'm just trying to hurry because I want to go eat and go to bed. So yeah, comb that all the way through. And then after I comb it all the way through, um, I get just whatever's left in the bowl, which is not too much. Um, and I just slap it on. <laughs> Mostly because I would just normally be throwing this away, so, cause you can't like reuse it. So um, that way I can just make sure it's really good and coated. Like that. And then I get the comb again, and I just kind of work that through. And once I get it all combed in, almost there. All right. And I just take one of these butterfly clips again. Just pull it back like this. So I don't get it on things because it takes time to process. So I don't have time to sit here. I have to go get things done. So um, yeah, I just clip it up and then I go do whatever I need to do and then I come back and wash it out. So um, yeah, just clip it up like this. And I let it sit. So it will be sitting for 30, 35 minutes. Um, and then I'm going to wash it out and I'll blow it dry and then I'll come on and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, see ya. So now it's the next day. I was too lazy to blow dry my hair last night and do it so you guys could see. So here we go this morning. So this is what it looks like when I'm all done. And it's nice to have a new color. I was in desperate need. Anyways, I hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them. And I think that's all. We'll see you guys later.